is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen it is time for our annual massive box full of horror action figures video we got a bunch of mezco some NECA some statues we got all kinds of horror action figures in here it just turned October I think it's what, what's the date right now it is October 4th I'm a few days late I wanted to upload this on October 1st I know hero posted his massive box of horror figures but it is MDT's turn and today I cannot wait to dive into this we got my full horror action figure collection in this box I mean I have more horror figures and statues and things of that nature in the room, but I couldn't fit them in the box, man. So we're going to go with the figures. We got them all here. Let's just shut the hell up and dive into the box, guys. Very excited to get into this. I do this video every single year. We started it two years ago, and now it's become like a trend. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's start it first, guys, with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre figure from NECA. Now, we do have a lot of NECA in this video. This one is absolutely beautiful. My favorite part of this figure has to be the blood spatter and the chainsaw. I love the way it looks. Let's get in there. You got to get the details in this thing. The chainsaw accessory looks great. I love the blood spatter we got going on in there. Got the blood spatter on the apron. Aprons of really nice material. And the only thing that really sucks about NECA figures usually is the posability isn't the best. But I think the, you know, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the, the leather face looks damn good, Brad. So it's a good start. Next up, guys, we are going to get into our Jason Voorhees collection. We have the Part 5 Dream Sequence figure from NECA holding the bloody axe. Very nice. We have a ton of Jason in this video. So if you're a Friday the 13th collector, this is going to be the video for you. But this one looks very nice. I love how you got the wetness going on. You can see that it's drenched. It's got that nice mattish sort a shiny feel going on with it. Very nice. I have a shit ton of these Jason masks too. This one doesn't come off necessarily, but it does have all the interchangeable head sculpts with it. Next up, we have the original 1990 Pennywise. And I mean, who doesn't love the 1990 Pennywise? We actually have two of them. We have two different head sculpts on. Oh shit. His collar fell off too. Okay, so we got it. But here's the second head sculpt you guys can see right here. God in heaven, man. Oh my. All right, so finally, here we go. We got more of a smiling, laughing face, and then we have then we have this intense face right here, which has got to be the money maker. Look at all that detail that NECA gets in there. Very fantastic job. You even have the teeth in there. Really great job. I love the colors on this figure. NECA did a great job on their Pennywise. They released like 96 of them, so. But here is the OG Pennywise, and then you got to get the remake in here. So you guys can let me know down below. Are you team remake Pennywise, or are you team classic original Pennywise? You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Both figures are great. Really doesn't matter what team you're on, but both of them absolutely are fantastic. We have another Pennywise right here, and this one actually has, this one actually has the bar through the eye, and that is just sick. I think, God, I mean, dude, can a Pennywise keep his damn head on his shoulders in these videos? But it goes on really easily. I mean, they're different, they're definitely in different attire. They're completely different attire. I think they did a really good adaptation in the remake, but you guys can let me know which one you like better down in the comment section below. They made so many damn Pennywises. NECA made like a hundred of them. Next up, guys, we do have the NES version of Godzilla. Now, we, we usually don't feature Godzilla in the videos, but this one was one that I wanted to add this year, so we do have quite a few of the Godzilla figures. Not big on these because of the scale. You know, they're clearly not in scale. This would have to be absolutely massive compared to the rest of the figures, but it still has a really good color to it. I like the tealish, bluish color and the seafoam color, but yeah, I'm just, I'm not a Godzilla guy. Next up, we have the Halloween remake Michael Myers. I guess his knife fell out of his hand, but I like the jumpsuit on this guy. Really great detail. The year that this came out, I was Michael Myers at Halloween. It looked really damn good. I was proud of it. Maybe I can pop up a picture if I can. But this is probably one of my favorite figures in the collection, dude. Just super menacing and I love that you can do the head pivot right here. That's just oh man, that is good stuff. Super hype for the new Halloween coming later in 2021. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, it would not be a horror video without Chucky, so we do have the Sinister Doll in our hands. Really good head sculpt on this guy. I think this is my one that has like the leg problem, like his leg pot. Yeah, look at that right there. He's got peg leg right there. You can actually interchange this with a knife, so it does give you the accessory to interchange that with a knife but not this knife, but it's like a peg leg knife. I don't have that right now, but there is the Chucky. He's got the ripped up overalls on it. Looks good. Like the stripes going on. So there's Chucky. Next up, we have another Jason Voorhees, and this is the Freddy versus Jason version. Mask fell off. Don't know where the hell that went. Well, I think we have a few of them, so we'll just go ahead with the mask off. Great details on this one. Super duper tall platform boots. Should have cast Kane Hodder as Jason in this film, but you know, they, they didn't go that way, but they figured, you know, Kane's not tall enough, so the guy they got was super tall anyway, and then they added platform boots to him. So it's like, Jesus Christ, do you want... I mean, he's tall as shit by now. So by that time, I mean, dude's over seven foot tall. Easy. Next up is a Freddy Krueger, and this one is super badass. I think this is the ultimate Freddy. This head sculpt is so sick, man. The, all the wrinkles that they got in the head sculpt, I love it. You got the stripes on the sweater. You have the signature Freddy glove, and his knives are completely bent up. Look how ugly. I gotta fix that. That's terrible, but he does have his hat on here. Surprised that didn't fall off in the in the box down there, but good looking Freddy figure. Next up we have, I don't remember if these are NECA or not, but you have these like classic Jason statues, and they even have the shoulder 
wound right there where he got chopped up. Looks really good. I like the bloody detail. These masks are removable, so NECA or whoever. I can't. Maybe these are Mezco. I think these are Mezco because it does have the cloth. I don't think really NECA really ever did cloth, even though they might have. I, I don't know. I think these are Mezco, though. You have the axe in hand cloth pants. Really unique. These figures are really unique. They feel good in the hand, and they're just, they're, they're pretty damn big, too. You guys can see by the comparison shot. Next up, we have a He-Man Jason figure. Just tons of Jason figures in this box, so if you guys are a fan of Friday the 13th or Jason, this is uh, gonna be a lot of figures that you guys need to pick up, but this is the He-Man Jason. We have another, like, Scooby-Doo cartoon type Jason. It's just a cartoon Jason, but it reminds me, it's like the art style of Scooby-Doo, so he's got his machete here. That comes out of the hand. Got that from Big Bad Toy Store, and it kind of reminds me of Shaggy, which is obviously the Scooby-Doo art style, so there you go. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our beautiful Big Daddy figure. If you guys are a fan of Bioshock, then holy Christ, this figure is a beast. It's got so many great things going on with it. I think you can even light up the eyes. So yeah, you can light up the eyes green and like a bluish green and red. I think this is like kill mode or something. I'm not big on Bioshock, but this is my brother's figure. And this figure is super expensive and nice. Just super big, super articulate. Got the big drill on there. I mean, this thing is a mammoth. Takes up majority of the box. It is a beast. Highly recommended. It is expensive, but it is definitely worth it if you're a big Bioshock fan. We have the other half of the Mezco or NECA. Again, can't remember. Yeah, dude, these are Mezco. These are definitely Mezco, and this is a different version we got going on here. Love all the cloth and stuff. Again, these are really unique. I feel like you could decorate your house with these, especially around Halloween. These are great. I mean, they're great for display in horror rooms and collections, but I feel like these could go around your house. Next up, guys, we have another Godzilla, and this one is the black version, looking pretty good. I think I like this one slightly more than the, the video game version. You guys can let me know what you guys think, but again, man, the scaling is just way too off for me. Spikes on the back are malleable, or they, you know, they move around a little bit. You get some decent articulation with it, but just, I don't know, the scale's way too off. If the scale isn't right, it just completely throws me off, especially in scale with the rest of the NECA figures. I know they have the Monster Arts version, but for, for me, those just don't do it. Next up, guys, we have a Part 7 Jason statue. It looked like his chain flew off. His mask did come off, but NECA definitely killed this. It has some articulation up here for the machete. Machete's definitely somewhere in the box or on the shelf, but uh, they did a really great job capturing this sculpt of the Kane Hodder Jason, and this, this statue is very, very nice. Part 7's probably my favorite look of Jason, for sure. But as we move on, guys, we do have another... Oh, my God in heaven, man. We have another Godzilla, and not only did his tail fall off, but his god dang head fell off. That's like, that makes three headless figures in this video, but I guess it wouldn't be a massive box of horror figures without headless figures, but here's a little mini Godzilla. Shout out to Javi the Hong. And then we gotta get down in here and get the head sculpt to pop this back on, but I'm not big on Godzilla anyway, so th there you go. Next up, guys, we do have Hellraiser, or Pinhead, if you'd like to call him that. Nice, bright, shiny black paint going on with this guy. Good art articulation. You do get the cloth going down here. Very, very nice figure. I think this is the only pinhead we have in the collection, but they did a really great job on this. Tons of, you know, horror icons that we need to get. We need to get Ghostface. We gotta get, you know, some Captain Spaulding and some Devil's Rejects characters in here. I mean, there's a ton of figures that we are missing. We need some Pamela Voorhees in here as well, but, you know, we're, we're trying to add to the collection, but there is Hellraiser. We have another Bioshock right here, and it is the mini version, so if you guys don't want to go all out on the large massive version, you can't get the mini version, but I think both of them are equally as expensive but uh, there is Bioshock Big Daddy. Next up, guys, we have a Part 4 Jason, and he is maskless, and he has a little buzzsaw right there, so there's our first Part 4, I do believe. So we have a Part 4 Jason. Nice slacks going on with that one. Coming up next, guys, we do have Part 5, and this is Roy as Jason, so we're gonna unmask the killer right quick, and you guys can see him right here. Nice face sculpt and everything. You know, as a standalone movie, Part 5 would be good, but as Jason, knowing that he really isn't in the film, and that you're dealing with just a regular old dude, tractor damage in the front, right there. I mean, they got the details right and everything, but I don't know, man. Off-putting to know that it wasn't Jason. Next up, we do have a Mezco figure. It is the OG Halloween. Now, I'm not really Team Mezco on these. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Are you Team Mezco or Team NECA on this debate? Where's my Halloween, Michael? So, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. Are you Team Mezco or are you Team NECA? I'm definitely Team NECA. I just like this better. Even though cloth can be way better for articulation purposes and stuff, the range of motion you can get on the NECA and then just the scale of NECA is just way better to me. This this Mezco figure is actually really, really small compared to the NECA figure you guys can see here. Like, look at the change in height. Yeah, man, I just like the bigger figures better. And then it ties back to Godzilla right there, man. Gotta make the figures bigger. Especially when you're paying all that money. When you're paying all that money for a Mezco figure, the NECA is cheaper than the Mezco, and it's, it's much better scale. Next up is part six. We do have the chain wrapped around it. This is another great look for Jason, and I think that a lot of people say that part six is probably the best standalone Jason film, but there is our part six. Nice sculpt going on there. Again, another mask falling off. I think we only have one part six, which is pretty unfortunate, but need to get 
a new one. Look at these go loosey goosey legs, man. Pathetic. Next up, we do have a part three, Jason. Got the nice blue jean color going on. This is our first of many part threes. He's got the harpoon gun on there. Next up is another part three. He doesn't have any weapons, so there's two different part threes. One is the bloody version, and then one, or one has blood on the shirt, one does not have blood on the shirt, and then the other one is rocking the axe mark in the mask, and one does not. We have the Atari version of Leatherface in the all green. Very odd release, but since they do other video game releases for, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, they did it for Friday the 13th, I guess. They wanted to do the same thing for Leatherface face and so NECA brought it to us and you know it's a cool figure if you're a really big leather face and you know Texas Chainsaw Massacre collector but as a figure on the shelf I mean it's pretty butt ass ugly so speaking of the video game versions guys we do have the I think this is the I think this is the re-release of the NES Jason Friday the 13th figure from the video game that's why he is in these like neon bluish colors but they do have an original STCC version that is in this box somewhere I'm pretty sure this is the re-release I could be wrong but I think the OG version has the clear mask or the more translucent mask Next up, we have the 2009 remake, Friday the 13th. Very unique look on Jason. Let me know if you guys were a fan of this film down in the comment section below, but you have all the interchangeable head sculpts. You got the long hair. Very cool. Like, I don't know. Th this is more of a smarter Jason for sure. He had traps and a bell system and all kinds of ish living underground, but there is that. Next up is another remake, 2009 Jason, and he is with the bag on the head, so that's pretty cool to see. Got the axe in hand, so there's a different look for him, and he's got the nice long machete down here. I did like the machete from that film. He's got, like, a nice long sleek look to it. We have a Freddy vs. Jason. Jason, Jason right here with his mask on. Last time you guys saw this, it did have the mask off and he does have the nice long machete on there. Which more modern Jason do you guys like better? Do you like the 2009 remake or do you like the Freddy vs. Jason Jason? Personally, I think I like the Freddy vs. Jason better. Maybe not. Maybe it's just nostalgia kicking in because I was like 10 when that movie, or 8 when that movie released and I used to, I, I've seen it a million times, I'm not sure. Next up, we do have some Freddy dogs or we have one right here from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Pretty damn ugly. We have a head from... I think this is a head that goes to our giant part four Jason over there. But what the hell do I know? Next up, guys, we have another part three continuing the trend. This one's maskless. Don't think we've seen a maskless part three just yet, but there is that. We have another dream sequence part five, and this one has the worms all over the mask, which is a pretty cool detail. So the sculpt's in there. Nice, really good sculpt job by NECA, as always. I mean, you're going to always nail the sculpt when you're getting into NECA, but there is that. We have a couple more of the cartoon figures right here. I don't think these are from the same line, but you have the cartoon Michael that is similar to the Jason, and then we have this leather face, but I don't think these are from the same line. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. They, they just, they don't they don't seem to go together. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure about that. It looks, they're both definitely cartoony, but this one just doesn't look as the same style as this one or the Jason. Next up, guys, we have the second of our Freddy dog right there. Another really ugly piece of ish. Next up is Pamela Voorhees' head on a stick from the NES game. This came with that NES Jason figure, as you can tell by the colors. Next up is the most underrated figure in this entire box. We have the little sister from Bioshock. This figure actually came with that massive Big Daddy figure you guys saw. And this one has actually this one actually rides the back of that figure. But I love the articulation. You guys can see it's single jointed, but they're on ball joints. So this figure can just pose around all that. Like, it can pose around and do all kinds of stuff. It, if it had double jointed knees, if it had double jointed elbows and knees, this would probably be one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. It can just pose around, man. It's super fun to pose around, and it's super creepy. Really underrated figure. Next up, guys, we do have the Freddy Krueger from the original Nightmare on Elm Street. He's missing his gloved hand and his hat, and I'm not sure if it fell off in the damn box. It damn sure what it, it better be, because what is Freddy Krueger without his glove, and what is he without his hat? He's a damn ugly-ass, weaponless fool is what he is. But there is that from NECA. We have a Part 2 Jason, and he's usually holding his pickaxe, but he is not. I love the plaid on this figure. I just love the colors of it. The bag looks good as well. Very nice-looking Jason from Part 2. We got our massive Jason figures up in here. Let's get in here to the bottom. We got another part four going on. So we have another part four Jason Voorhees. I think this one is the SDCC NES Friday the 13th Jason. You guys can see what I was talking about with the translucent mask, hands, feet, and I think his axe and accessories were also translucent. So there you go. Next up is another part four. Look at this one's leg, man. Look at that right there. Holy Christ. So another part four Jason right there. I mean, the part threes and part fours, I mean, they're just stacking up, man. Let's go ahead and knock out this big boy right here. Here. Thing is absolutely massive and it is heavy as shit. So on these figures, guys, this is an exact replica.
replica of the NECA Part 4 figure, but it is in massive scale. Like, this is my hand. It covers up his entire chest. This figure is massive. It has all the details. Like, you don't have to worry about anything with this. Like, it is super heavy. Like, oh my god, it is super heavy. Look at the head sculpt. Look at all the details in it. Look how clear it is. I mean, this thing is super... Here's my thumb compared to the head sculpt. It is massive. I'm really glad we included these this year in the horror box because, I mean, dude, this thing is girth. It, like, dude, this thing is at least five to seven pounds. No doubt about it, but it is just like, and it has all the articulation. You guys can hear the ratchet joint in the thigh. These things are massive. So we're going to sit him off to the side, and we have our Freddy versus Jason version of Jason. This is more of like a statue. He's got some waist swivel in there. It looks very similar to, you know, it, it's based off of his NECA figure as well. It doesn't have near the articulation that the figure has, though, but it is very similar. He doesn't have, you know, ball joints on his legs, but another really massive piece, and it is super heavy. Great details on this guy as well. Mask does come off. NECA just makes some pretty ridiculous things, man. I mean, these things are massive. They look beautiful up on the shelf, but I had to show these off. And then the last massive figure that we have from NECA is another Jason, and it is our Part 7. Another really hefty piece. Another piece with a ton of detail. It's got the chain on there, and it's kind of crazy how we have just all the different versions. Like, good God, look at that sculpt, dude. They nailed it. Looks just like Part 7. Fantastic. You see his skull rotten through with the teeth and everything. Yeah, dude, Part 7 is definitely my favorite, especially when you get into the back and you have his spine leaking through and his back. And you also have this speaker. <laughs> And that is super badass as well. So you don't get as much articulation. You do get the shoulder and the waist swivel. And his head can rotate a little bit. And I think this arm can go up and down. But it's mainly a statue. But what a badass piece. And finishing up here, guys, I can actually see the bottom now. We have a massive axe that goes with our part four. We have Big Daddy's little canister. We have a part two for Michael Myers in Halloween. Both shots to the eyes there with the blood leaking down the mask. I mean, my God, what a good shot, right? I always thought that was kind of ridiculous. But, you know, I don't write films. You know, I don't make the rules. I just break them. So there you go. Another Michael Myers to add to the collection. We need more Michaels, man. We need more Freddies as well. They've made a ton of Michaels. And they've they made a ton of Freddy, like, accessory packs, man. We don't own any of them. We need to get those in here for next year for sure. Here's another Michael from the remake. Looking very, very beautiful. I think NECA actually sent this one over. So huge shout out to them. We have a little mini cartoon figure of Pinhead. So continuing on with our cartoon series, we have Pinhead from Hellraiser. Next up, we have a two-pack. We have Chucky and Tiffany from Bride of Chucky. Definitely not nostalgic right here by god beautiful look at like look at all these like blood vessels and arteries in the face of this chucky dude that is just sick i love all the detail you got going on in there i think tiffany's freaking hand just fell off so that's just wonderful this pack also came with a ton of accessories so a huge shout out to NECA. i think NECA also sent us this one out as well beautiful looking figures there moving on guys we do have one of the worst figures in the collection not this little mini jason this mini jason figure is much better than this terrible figma pyramid head oh my god this pyramid head is terrible. It is just just freaking loosey-goosey. The leg pops off at a moment's notice. The ankles are super loose. Really cool figure. I wish the scale was better and it does have the nice ball joints, but dude, he is just a wobbly gobbly piece of garbage. Sick weapon. Really sick figure. Just terrible articulation. He's just so super loosey-goose. Finishing up here, guys, we do have a part three Mezco Jason missing his hand. This is the problem when you put all of them in the box that are, the, you know, the weapons and the hats and the damn masks and all that shit fall off. This mask is removable. Really nice details going on right there with this Jason. But again, the scale is just so far off for me that it, it just turns me off from Mezco figures. And you're paying so much money for them, and it's just not worth it for me. We have another Mezco, and this one's nice, guys. It's like a little mini Jason statue with the axe, and it is also removable. And look at this face sculpt. I mean, dude, they do such a good job on these, man. These these are great. I don't know if they made any more in this series, but it is a really nice figure. I, I love this little figure. It's underrated. Definitely an underrated piece in the collection. Finishing it up, guys, we have a couple mini figures. We have these little mini figures like you guys saw with Jason. You have the Freddy and the Ghostface from Scream. Need an official NECA Scream. And then we have the NES version of Freddy Krueger in the orange and red. Same thing with the Leatherface and the Jason except, you know, he doesn't have any articulation. He's more of a statue. He doesn't have movable legs. But there is the rest of the horror box. But that pretty much does it for our massive box of horror action figures this year, guys. Again, next year I'm going to shoot to add more characters and things like that. Who is somebody you would like to see in the horror box next year? Let me know down in the comment section 
description below. Maybe we can do another one if we pick up some more of the figures. Maybe we can do another one of these. But if you guys want to see the collection room or have any other ideas down in the comment section below, please let me know. But there is our massive horror box collection. We also have the massive Jason figures off to my right that I did not get in the picture. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.